what's happening in the world it's your guy the blue man aka doom wizard today's august 24th 2023 we're gonna run through some vitals flash briefing climate and economy august 24th round up the vitals earth energy imbalance hit another record high for a 36 month running mean after june 2023 number was released by series the 36th eei month EEI now stands at a record 1.46 watts per meter squared, which is about 11.9 Hiroshima's per second or 1.12 billion over the last three years. More effery. Yesterday's global sea surface temperature jumped up again above, way above the 1991 to 2020. Let's be clear. What's going on in the tropics? Same thing. Heat wave hits Brazil. Record temperatures this winter season. How does this look in 10 years, guys? Can you extrapolate? Let me help you. Weighing the cost of climate change in billions. This from CNN. Yep, chief scientist for the NOAA has shares insights on extreme weather causing billions. I'm not going to play this video, but you can clearly see we have severe storms and tropical cyclones inbound. That looks like a linear perhaps almost exponential at some point curve meat sauce just how bad just how bad does it get nasa reveals compounding climate risks at two degrees of warming if global temperatures keep rising and reach two degrees above pre-industrial people worldwide could face multiple impacts simultaneously nasa has rather backed out of the climate space instead focusing on what they do which is space exploration however um, they have the instrumentation to lead studies that analyze projected impacts of such warming to understand how difficult my effects might combine, and in particular, a two degree rise, which is, let's be clear, where we're headed by 2040. The researchers found that more than a quarter of the world's population could e experience an additional month of severe heat stress each year compared to the middle of the century, the 1950 to 1979. Could combine dangerously in Amazon and wildfire. I mean, just look at the map. Change in FWI, fire weather index. This is just one component. All right. A world on fire without water or food, electricity, and gasoline. For the year 2045 in this study, but let's go ahead with worst case, worst case scenario. How are we feeling about it? People really think we have a future? Apparently it's not as... Uh, divisive as we might think by Grace Manthe on Eyewitness News. Um, he starts with a story in Alabama and about um, the impacts there and people on the culture war about it. However, 77% uh, of Americans support funding research into renewable energy sources and tax credits. And 72% believe the government should regulate it. Okay, more regulations. We don't live in a democracy we live in a plutocracy so no matter what this percentage of adults feel it doesn't matter because we have literally close to zero input on legislative change in congress but look we like to bicker about it you know half and half don't look up look look at the look at the polling this is just in mobile county alabama but this is the one of the reddest, you know, counties, apparently, but we're highly contentious right now. Um, there's a distance between collective and worry and personal action. Nobody's doing anything business as usual. They will laugh in your face. You got to remember that 80% of the population is not highly sensitive persons like many of you on this channel. They are Neanderthals who react without thinking and will out stupid you if you put forward any kind of data or evidence it's a mixture of denial and just stupidity all right percent of adults who think will harm them personally surprise all the people down here you know this is a great an infographic but look in dallas county 55 percent that's where i was and i went around screaming at restaurants and you know people on patios blocking traffic what did it all do? A not a damn thing. 
I mean, this is insightful stuff. You say, you can say that you're worried about whether or not you do something is an entirely different matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Go to the store, get the bananas that took hundreds of gallons of gasoline to get to you. Corporations and citizens should do more. Uh huh. What about police officers? What about first responders? It's already in our food, it's in the air. Are ubiquitous that scientists discovered that oceans release microplastics in the atmosphere? Great. So they're churning them up in the ocean, and sea spray can carry them up in the air. I don't know how they figured this out. You can read the article using pyrolysis gas chromatography mass spectrometry. What? Pyrolysis. I guess you pronounce that. I'm, I'm just the doom wizard. They were identify different and quantify different types of plastics in the atmosphere through thermal re degradation and selective analysis. Then they then perform model calculations and reconstructions and sources. La la la. A pass of particles that just, with each of which is just to name a thousandth of a millimeter in size. This is insane. Um, omnipresence of polyester particles. Okay, there you go polyethylene, which presumably enter the atmosphere in the form of textile fibers, surprise, detected all samples, also uh, polycarbonate and polyestrine. Tire wear particles, I mean, it's everywhere, we just, we polluted, we, we're the virus, okay? Uh, up to 37.5 nanograms, so one nanogram is one billionth of a gram of microplastics per cubic meter of air. That is tiny, but um, we find them in polar regions, little's known about the tire wear particles i mean we're shooting we're shooting our crap up and everything uh, ships are a source of it uh sea waters via rivers washed out by rain paint all right there's the scholarly article doi from nature fascinating what do we need to do we need to see ourselves as part of nature did i already cover this before i think i did Let's be real. We need to change our relationship with nature in order to protect wildlife and enhance the environment. Nope. Just go make more roadkill. Embrace the collapse because we are witnessing the first stages of collapse on this chronicle. Will our elites perform any better than the rulers of the Chaco Canyon, Mayan, Heartland, and Viking Greenland? So he goes on to compare past civilizations, nothing new, but reciting his 2005 How Societies Collapse, How Societies Choose to Fail or Succeed. Uh, Jared Diamond focuses on civilizations, confronted severe climate shocks. And these are massive empires with uh, six-story structures, up to 600 rooms in one of them. Um, skyscrapers, you know, rose 800 years later. So these Mayan population, 10 million people between 250 and 980. And Norse Greenlanders, um, they still, they all collapse either died of starvation, slaughtering each other, migrating elsewhere, leaving nothing but ruins behind, which we are already seeing in our cities, let's be clear, in the good old states of America. Um, so the precursors of collapse are all evident. They're here. The uh, mega drought in 2021, 99% of the United States was in a drought. I mean, hello. Don't look. Don't even look up. Don't even look. Just close your eyes and 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 live in the happy space in denial. Anyways, they're all here. Greenhouse gases keep rising. We're, we keep pumping it out. Um, it'll rise from 94 million barrels a day to, to 102 by to 102 million by 2030. I mean, and then remain at that. We'll keep pumping out coal. You know, keep rising 19.5 billion metric tons to 2030. It'll keep going up. I agree. I know. We'll just keep pumping it out. And then ExxonMobil lied to us and they predicted all this crap would happen dramatic environmental effects before the year 2050 yet has been well documented um they investigated company funds and you know just did everything they could to ensure that we are dumb deaf and blind you guys know that except that ensured a future of fires floods droughts etc which i say on this channel and so we've seen that effects this year in 2023 and based off these you know earth energy imbalance looking at the I gotta go into these specifics, but I mean, you can see it's going up. All right, so hang on, entering a new world. How and might we slip over to the brink of catastrophe? We already have. Many of my subscribers know that. Uh, we are all to the kind of close of systemic failure experienced by many centuries, the Mayans, Puebloans, and the Viking Greenlanders. We have nowhere else to go. Call it if you want Collapse 2.0. All right, guys, that's what we're gonna call it. It's the cute catch of phrases. They are. Uh, there's the climate casino, climate emergency, 
Just call it Collapse 2.0, all right? Maddie, Come on. You're dead. If you're a young person, all the old people watching, you, you just look at the facts and think that we have any hope or, like, aspiration. It's musical chairs. It's a game of musical chairs where the elites, there's a book I just heard about, Peter Turch, Turchin, the end times. It's not, like, end times about collapse, but it's end times about, like, changing, you know, societies, uh, social order, plutocracy. There's these, all these people fighting for these seats, you know, positions of power, scientists, CEOs, politicians, lawyers, whatever, and everyone else is, and it, it comes to a point, it's exponential perhaps, where everyone, more people are fighting over a few seats, and it gets even more tangled and complicated, and ultimately cheating, people start cheating, and we're a failed experiment. This has been your What's Happening in the World, August 24th, 2023. Please like and subscribe, and use the PayPal donation link below, it means a lot. Got some bills coming up. I appreciate you. Talk to you soon.